Peggy 18. What's going on, folks? This is Filthy Rich, Namco Bandai Games Community Manager. And this is Ken Ma, producer in Inversion. Let's jump into my favorite part of Inversion and talk multiplayer. Let's start this off with a bang, and let's talk about Hourglass Mode. All right, Hourglass Mode is Inversion's take on King of the Hill. You've got this objective. Each team is going to be trying to capture this objective, and you're going to see a little meter that's on the left side of the screen. So as, as long as you hold this map, as long as you hold the control point, then you'll notice that your meter is going to slowly start to move down. Once it gets all the way to the bottom, you will win the match. And as the match progresses, you'll notice that it starts to move a lot faster. But essentially, we've got two separate levels that are built. You know, imagine a level that's on the bottom, a level that's on the top. And as soon as you capture this point, the whole entire map will flip. Enemies, objects, players, everything flips to the other map. So, you know, over the course of a match, you're going to see this constantly flipping back and forth. You know, it gets a little bit crazy uh -huh. and you have to get used to your orientation, but it is pretty cool. One of the coolest things that we have in Inversion is the intelligent AI that's implemented onto the guys who are constantly shooting at your face. And the one thing that I know is that there are other people in the community who feel the same way, who love this experience against the AI. What can these types of players play in a multiplayer space to go ahead against groups of AI. In version what we have is a four player co-op mode called survival and we built these exclusive maps just for this mode. These aren't regular normal MP maps that have been you know just recycled in. So what you do with these maps is you've got these three you can divide it up into three separate sections and you have a certain amount of time at the start of the game or the start of the match to complete this first section. So you and your friends have also also have a set amount of lives you have to kill all these waves of enemies and then you'll make it into the second wave and again if you if you keep if you complete it then you'll get additional time for the second now you know everybody's going to be racing for the best time for the leaderboards but also because at the end of that third section you're going to see a badass boss and you have to have four players it is extremely difficult to be able to kill them uh, even with three players, you want to have everybody in there available for this massive boss fight. And, you know, it's a great way to just relax. And you don't have to worry about competitive, you know, playing with competitive players. It's just you, three friends, and tons and tons of enemies to take care of. Deathmatch is usually my first mode that I jump into in any multiplayer game. Because I don't have to do any kind of strategy. Only rule is to kill anything that moves, right? It's a great way to get used to the maps, a great way to get used to the gravelic mechanics and how it works, that, that little balance that Inversion's got between weapons and using your gravelic as a weapon. And you know what, let's get right into more craziness and let's talk about Gravity Slaughter. Okay, so in Gravity Slaughter mode, again, um, you can play this in team-based mode or you can play free-for-all. And what you do is in Gravity Slaughter, you'll get normal points if you just kill players. That's fine. But you'll get bonus scores, you get bonus points if you use your grab link. So, for example, if you use finishers or if you grab objects and throw it at players, then you'll get more points than other people will. So, I mean, it's a great way to encourage gravity gameplay. And, you know, hopefully we'll find a lot of players start to get some creative kills out there with the grab link. So this right here, we're going to talk about the king of gravity, where one is going to go ahead and stay above the rest and be the man or, you know, as we say, the king of gravity. Okay, king of gravity is an absolutely insane mode. So what you've got is you've got one graveling pack and every player that's playing in this mode is always going to be able to track this. It's going to be an objective marker. So whoever picks up the grav link is going to be able to earn points by killing other players. But the thing about it is that the king of gravity is so powerful with his grav link you'll need the assistance of other players with you. So even though everybody's trying to race to become the King of Gravity, you have to work together to take down the current King of Gravity. But after that, it's no hold part, right? It's whoever can get that Gravelink first. Everybody that you thought was a teammate, as soon as that Gravelink drops and everybody's trying to rush to get it, then everybody's your enemy again. So that's it for us over here at Namco Bandai Games. This is Filthy Rich. 
Guys, make sure to join the community at facebook.com slash inversion. And of course, a big thanks to our friend, Ken. Yep, look forward to playing against these guys uh, once the game comes out.